A lot of people got to know this guy and started to love him, hearing his appearances uh, recently on us uh, with Opie and Anthony. He is from England and he is great. Jim Jeffries. Great. <laughs> Hello. How you all going? My name's Jim. I actually, I'm, I live in England, but I'm from Australia. This is actually my uh, third trip to America. Last time I was out here, I went and did some auditions out in LA, right? And I went and read for a part in the morning with this girl, and we got along really well. And then I got a call back in the afternoon I read with her, and it was like we were buddies. And after that, I said, hey, Carla, do you have any taxi cab numbers? And she goes, where are you trying to get to? And I said, Santa Monica. And she goes, that's where I'm going. I'll give you a lift. Now, please note at this stage of the story, I didn't ask for the lift. We went down to the car. <laughs> she gets into the car. She winds the window down. She looks out and goes, Jim, what's your full name? And I went, Jim Jeffries. And she went, wait there. Then she called her mum up and said, hi, mum, it's Carla. I just met a very nice boy at the audition today, and I'm going to give him a lift. But in case I get raped or murdered, <laughs> his name's Jim Jeffries. So if you don't hear from me in an hour, assume something bad has happened and call the cops. Get in, Jim! <laughs> so I get in the car, we got like a 10 mile drive. I said fucking nothing for the first five miles. I just looked forward, right? Then eventually I turn to her and go, you've just made this rape really awkward, right? <laughs> she fucking freaks out! She slams her foot on the brake, she skids off the fucking highway, she starts slapping at me. I'm grabbing her wrist now, I feel kind of rapey and I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm like, you offered the lift, I didn't ask for the fucking lift, you offered this. You seem more concerned with solving this crime than preventing it. Some <laughs> people. Last year when I was up at the Edinburgh Festival, it's like a, in Scotland, I was, I was having a wank, which means masturbating to you people, and I felt a lumpy, fleshy thing on my cock that wasn't a wart or a cyst or anything I'd had previously. I, I went to the doctor and the doctor looked at my dick and went, uh, another doctor came in and he poked it with a stick. Then they sent me off to a specialist. Now the specialist put my dick into like a clamping machine. And it turned out that I had a tumor growing on the side of my penis. Now whenever you hear this, a tumor, cancer, you get fucking scared, right? And I said to the doctor, am I gonna die from this? And he goes, you're not gonna die. These are the fastest found lumps in the world. No one dies from these. You get a lump on your head or your arm, you fucking leave it for six months. You get a lump on your dick, you're right down to the fucking doctor. Now. <laughs> Now, I'm not popular in this country, but I'm on the telly in Britain. I might be the most famous person ever to have this condition, which means I'll have to become a spokesperson, and I'll be doing adverts going, Hi, I'm Jim Jeffries. I'm a comedian. But you know what's not a laughing matter? <laughs> dick cancer. <laughs> Do you know that two people die from dick cancer a year? This must be stopped. <laughs> there are many ways to detect dick cancer. Wanking. <laughs> That's it, really. <laughs> Please buy a ribbon. <laughs> uh. Now, w when I went to the doctor for this, I'd been seeing the same girl for four years. And I never cheat on her, but I did cheat on her twice during the Edinburgh Festival because it, it's a fucking festival, right? And <laughs> when I went to the doctor, I was worried I had a sexually transmitted disease. I think I'm the first person ever to high-five a doctor when he says you got cancer. <laughs> I was well up for that because you come home with herpes, she'll kick you out of the fucking house. You come back with dick cancer, she'll make you a cake or something real nice. <laughs> And she wouldn't fuck me till the tumor was removed because she was worried it was contagious. I'm like, it's not contagious, it's fucking cancer. Let's just enjoy the width while we have it. 
So right, I go up to the doctor, right? And the doctor fucking lays me down on the bed. And then they put like a metal frame up like this with a curtain. And then the doctor puts a needle into the side of my dick to numb the dick and balls area. <laughs> and then he starts slicing my cock up. And there's a nurse here and her sole job is to pull the blood away from the bleeding cock. There's another nurse here and her sole job is to hold my hand and to distract me from my cock being sliced up. <laughs> and she looks down at me and she goes, so, I hear you're a comedian. Why don't you tell everyone a joke? <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, you fucking useless? <laughs> then the doctor put six stitches into my cock. Now, these aren't like big ones you use like on your head or your arm. These are like little tiny ones that you use like on babies' arms. And the, <laughs> the doctor told me not to get an erection for three weeks. I, I fucking got a lot of shit done and beat me girlfriend. Now, <laughs> at the end of the three weeks, I was ready for my comeback wank. Now, I was more excited about this than fucking my girlfriend again. In fact, I actually told her there's some stitches that didn't dissolve so I could have a bit of me time. Now, <laughs> I hadn't wanked in three weeks, so my balls are all full. Now, I get, get an erection. Now, I get some lube out. Now, ordinarily, I'm not that fancy. I'm more of a dry hand sort of guy, but I thought, it's been a while, Jim. Treat yourself, right? <laughs> and we're talking five pumps maximum, just <laughs> And out of my cock came this thick gelatin-like cut. It was like it was trying to make a baby without the womb. It, it had teeth in it. And I looked at it, and it fucking looked back at me. <laughs> then it scurried under the fridge. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a blast.